Hello everyone! I am Teacher V and welcome dito sa aking channel. Gumagawa ako ng mga videos tungkol sa math para matulungan ka na maintindihan ang mga lessons ninyo in mathematics. Itutuloy lang natin yung lesson natin today about the mathematical system. Sa last video ko, para sa mga grade 8 students, pinaliwanag ko na yung undefined terms. Ngayon naman, yung defined terms and then yung ibang mga postulates. Pag sinabi nating defined terms, it uses undefined terms or terms previously defined to give a clear meaning of a word or a phrase. Ano ba yung undefined terms natin sa geometry? Yun yung point, line, and plane. Yung, yung mga undefined terms na yun ang ginagamit natin para makabuo tayo ng defined terms or any other words na makakatulong para mas paliwanag natin ng maayos yung isang bagay. So, nagbibigay na tayo dito ng mga definition or nag-explain tayo. At ano-ano yung ilan sa mga defined terms sa geometry? Okay. First is the space. When we say space, it is the set of all points. So, alam naman natin na ang isang space, meron niyang mga maliliit na points, pero hindi na nga lang natin nakikita. Pero lahat yan ay nagsisimula sa points. Right? So, pag set of all points, that is what we call space. Next, meron tayong tinatawag na collinear points and non-collinear points. Pag sinabi natin collinear points, these are points that are lying on the same line. From the word ko means kasama and then line. So, magkasama sa iisang linya, yung collinear. Okay, tignan natin yung ating example. Points L, O, V, and E are collinear points. Kita-kita naman natin na magkakasama yung points na to sa iisang line. Kaya collinear. Pag non-collinear points, kabalik tala ng collinear. These are points that do not lie on the same line. Let's look at our example. Points L, O, V, E. So L, O, V, E and U are non-collinear points. Why? Because U or point U is not lying on the same line. Pero kung sinabi lang na point L, O, V, E, they are collinear points. Pero kung kasama ang you, they are not collinear points or non-collinear points. Okay? So, yun ang pagkakaiba ng collinear and non-collinear. Next, meron din tayong tinatawag na coplanar and non-coplanar points. So, coplanar points, these are points that are lying on the same plane. So, yeah. Co means kasama, then plane. So, magkasama sa iisang plane yung mga points na to. Look at our figure here. Points A, B, and C. A, B, and C are coplanar points. Kasi pare-pareho sila na nandito sa ating plane. Kaya coplanar points. Yung non-coplanar points, these are points that do not lie on the same plane. So, kabalik ka siya ng coplanar. Wala siya sa ating plane. So, let's have this, points A, B, and C, and D are non-coplanar points. They are non-coplanar because D is outside our plane. So, A, B, points A, B, C, and D are non-coplanar points. Nakita ninyo yung pagkakaiba ng collinear at non-collinear, and then coplanar and non-coplanar points. Okay, let's move on to the other terms sa geometry, yung tinatawag nating intersection. So, the set of points that is common to both figures. Intersection could be a point, a line, or a plane. In our figure, we have two lines. And two lines intersect or meet at one point. Nagtagpo yung dalawang linya dito. Ang tawag natin sa point kung saan nagtagpo ang dalawang figure o yung ating lines ay intersection. Okay? Now, let's practice. Points A and B are 
what do you think? Non-collinear or collinear points? So, let's take a look. Point A and B. What is the answer? Yes, you're correct. These points are collinear points. So, they lie on the same line. Next, points H, I, and E are non-collinear or collinear points. Okay, you're correct again. This is, or they are, collinear points. Isang line lang sila, oh. Kaya, collinear points pa rin sila. How about this? Points J, I, and G are, so let's look for J, I, and G. So, J, I, and G. What do you think is the answer? Are they collinear or non-collinear? Okay. They are non-collinear points. So, naligaw or hindi sila magkakasama sa isang line. How about this? Points F, F, D, E, and C are, what do you think? Non-coplanar or coplanar points? Again, F, D, tapos E and C. So, tinutukoy. So, what do you think? Are they on one plane? Magkakasama ba sila sa isang plane? O hindi? Okay, that's correct. They are coplanar points. Kasi nga, magkakasama sila sa isang plane. Next, point C and G are C... So, this is point C and this is point G. Are they uh, non-coplanar or coplanar points? Okay, of course, they are non-coplanar points. So, kahit ang kita naman natin na hindi sila magkasama sa isang plane. Kasi yung point C, uh, belong siya rito sa plane na to or belong siya rito. Pero hindi sila magkasama nitong point G. Okay? So, nakikita niyo yung pagkakaiba ng non-coplanar and coplanar points. Next, the intersection of segment BH and GH is point. So, let's take a look. GH, so ito yung GH, and BH. So, saan sila nagtagpo? Anong point? Okay, nagtagpo sila sa point H. So, the answer is H, point H. Number 6, AB, section of plane ABG and plane. Ito yung ating plane, ABG. So, ABG. So, ito yun. Ito yung plane natin na ABG. Tapos, ito yun yung plane natin na ABG. Then, yung AB yung intersection daw ng anong plane. So, ano kaya yung plane yung... Uh, nag-intersect dito sa plane natin na to. Sa parang rectangle na to. Okay, that's correct. Ang plane A, B, C. Or plane A, B, C. So, pwede rin plane A, B, C. Okay, so ang answer natin is plane A, B, C or plane A, B, C. Kasi dun nag-intersect si A, B sa dalawang plane na yan. Next, points G and J are coplanar but not so G and J so they are coplanar so magkasama sila sa isang plane na to pero they are not okay, what do you think is the answer? Okay, they are not collinear. Kita nyo naman hindi sila magkasama sa isang line pero magkasama sila sa isang plane. Ngayon po ta naman tayo sa mga basic postulates in geometry. So, pag sinabi natin postulates, the, the following statements express relationships among points, lines, and planes. So, they are accepted as true. Tignan natin. Yung unang basic postulate natin is yung straight line postulate. Two points are contained in exactly one line. So, yung dalawang point na yan ay makakabuo ng straight line. So, straight line postulate. Next is points existence postulate. So, halos pareho lang siya kanina nung sa straight line. Ang pinag 
pinagkaiba lang dito, ang sinasabi, every line contains at least two distinct points. So, bawat linya may two distinct, distinct points. Kanina, sa straight line, yung two distinct points makakabuo ng straight line. Nandito naman, sa points existence postulate, yung bawat line may dalawang points. Okay? Nag-gets niyo yung pagkakaiba? Next, flat plane postulate. Two points are in a plane. Then, the line containing the points is in the same plane. So, kung merong two points na nasa loob ng ating plane, okay, yung two points na yun ay makakabuo of course ng line at yung line na yun ay naandoon or makikita natin sa same plane or sa mismong plane natin. So, just like in this example, sa plane AM, meron tayong line AB. At yung line AB na yan ay nasa loob ng ating plane. So, flat plane postulate. Next is plane postulate. Three non-collinear points are contained in exactly one plane. Okay, para masabi kasi nating plane, dapat at least three points. At kailangan they are non-collinear or hindi sila magkasama sa isang line. Dito, yung A and B are collinear. Pero yung C ay non-collinear. So dahil meron tayong 3 points na non-collinear, makakabuo tayo ng plane. So 3 non-collinear points are contained in exactly one plane. So that is plane postulate. Line intersection postulate. Two lines intersect, then their intersection is a point. So parang naipaliwanag ko na kanina sa intersection, di ba? Kapag may dalawang lines na nagtagpo, yung kanilang intersection ay point. Okay, just like this. The intersection is point B. So, line intersection postulate. And for the plane intersection postulate, so, two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. So, kapag may dalawang plane, so, let's say plane W, then itong plane A, so, ayan, yung dalawang plane natin, pag Nagkaroon sila ng intersection, ang kanilang uh, intersection is not a point but a line. Okay? Isang line yung magiging intersection nila kung saan sila nagtagpo. Okay? Ayan yung iba't ibang mga postulates natin. And then, i-apply natin or tignan natin using our example. Okay. So, binigay ko na example number one. So, points A and B are in... A, D. So, points A, nasan yung A? Yan. Points A and D are in lines A, D. So, this is straight line postulate. So, two points can form one line or straight plane. Next, plane P has three points C, D, and E. So, plane P, ito yung plane P, yung kabuuan yan, plane P daw. And meron daw 3 points, C, D, and E. So, C, D, and E. So, anong postulate to? This is plane postulate. So, diba? Next, points B and C are in plane P. So, points B and C are in plane P. So, C is in plane P. Anong postulate to? So, this is flat plane, flat plane postulate, di ba? Sa isang plane, may at least one line na mabubuo doon. So, flat plane postulate. Next, segment or line BE has points B and E. So, line BE, BE has points B and E. So, ano kaya to? So, this is points existence postulate. So, yung line natin ay may two distinct points. So, points existence postulate. Kanina, yung A and D ay isang line. Diba? Kaya straight line. Dito naman, yung line natin ay may dalawang points. So, points existence postulate. So, wag kayong malilito sa dalawang yan ha. And the last one, the intersection of lines AD and BC is point B. So, intersection daw ng lines AD and BC. So, saan sila nagtagpo? AD, eh, AD 
and BC. So, point V. Obviously, point V sila nagtagpo. So, anong tawag sa postulate na yun? So, that is line intersection postulate. Okay. So, ayan yung uh, basic postulates natin and then yung ilan sa mga defined terms na magagamit natin sa geometry. So, itutuloy natin yung pag-uusap natin about dito sa next video ko. So, for now, i-review nyo ulit kung ano-ano yung mga defined terms na pinag-usapan natin and yung mga basic postulates na pwede nating matandaan para pag nagkaroon na tayo ng mas malalim na topic about geometry, maaalala natin yung mga postulates na to. Okay? So, sana nakatulong ang video na to at kung nakatulong man sa iyo, pwede mo tong i-share sa iba para sila rin naman ay matuto sa mathematics. So, don't forget to hit the subscribe button para maging updated ka sa mga videos na i-upload ni Teacher V. Maraming salamat and see you again. Goodbye!